Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. Now in today's video, we're going to be revisiting a video that I've already done. I did it some time ago where I showed you how to manually program one of these Baofeng radios manually without the need for a computer or any software. The only downside to it is that you can't name the memory channels. You need the software for that. But you can fully program it to use without. And in that video, I followed the instructions provided by Baofeng, and it was quite long-winded. But recently I came across a comment in that video from Mr. Aphoristic, and he gave me a new method, which is a little bit quicker and a little bit easier than the long-winded method. So without further ado, I'm gonna start the video and I'm gonna show you that method. The original method that I used in my previous video was over five steps. And those were, number one, you input the receive frequency. Number two, you set the PL tone. Number three, you set your offset. Number four, you set the direction of the offset. And then number five, save to memory. So basically, you put all the info in to begin with, then save it in one go to memory. In this new method, we make two saves from VFO mode and the radio itself sorts out the offset direction. To begin, we want to make sure that we're in VFO mode and we do so by pressing VFO slash memory recall, which is this button here. And you just want to make sure that you're in the VFO mode where you can actually enter frequencies via the key press. So we want to start by entering the repeater's receive frequency. In my case, the receive frequency for GB3ZX, which is in Eastbourne, is 430.825. And we want to go ahead now and save that to a memory channel that is free. So you press menu until you get to the menu item 27, press again, and you want to scroll through until your next available free channel slot. In my case, the next available slot is 42, which is represented by an empty channel slot here. If you see channel slash so forth, that means there's something in there. So you're gonna to have to delete that before you save. So we'll come to the next available empty slot and we press menu like so. Now in our memory mode, we now have our receive frequency saved to memory slot number 42. Now we've set our receive frequency to a memory slot. We need to go ahead and enter our transmit frequency and PL tone. So we do so by entering the transmit frequency in VFO mode. And the transmit frequency is 438.425. Now this repeater requires an 88.5 Hertz tone. So we do that by going into menu and we go to this section here as you'll see. Now we don't need to set a receive tone but we need to transmit an 88.5 Hertz tone so we do so by going into menu and just scrolling up with the arrows and going to 88.5 Hertz press menu and then exit. All that's left to do now is to save it to the same memory slot that we saved our receive frequency to, which was memory slot number 42. So we do so by going into menu 
and going back to memory channel press menu again and we want to scroll up to channel 42 so we press menu again and we press exit now when we go back to memory recall mode you'll see in memory slot 42 the repeater that we've just saved the offset direction has been set by the radio itself now we should be able to transmit and open this repeater all that's left to do is to do a quick test to make sure that we can open it and we're receiving it okay so here we go works fine so just before I end the video I just want to say once again a big thanks to Mr. Aphoristic for this simpler programming method that I've learned through his post. So thanks once again, very much appreciated. So if this video in fact was of any help or any use, um, please do consider hitting that like button down below. The other option is there as well, I really don't mind. If you are new to my channel, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate every single subscription. So until the next video, I want to wish you all the best 7-3. Take care and stay safe.